All right, what's going on on my new current and future ride share drivers and passengers out there? Welcome to the channel. Before I get started, this is your first time here and you enjoy the content, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click that bell icon. That way, hopefully, you'll get notified when I come out with new videos. Now, I'm a couple days late on this story, but after I just saw the little minute clip in here, uh, I was like, okay, hmm. So, they're losing all this money, yet they're not worried about it. And, uh... Then he goes ahead and says something that surprised me when he sat there and uh, they've raised all the money needed pretty much like for their advertising and everything. But it's like, uh, if they raise all this money, will we see any improvements? Sadly to say, I'm probably going to say no, but we can always stay optimistic and hope as always. But I'm going to read this little article right here. I put the link to the article in the description below so everyone else can see it as well. But to me personally, they need to bring back 80-20. All right, if they're going to do any kind of improvements at all for drivers, that's exactly what we want. Raise some rates, 80-20. You agree? You better smash that thumbs up button, guys. Is it time to quit? Oh, hell no, it ain't time to quit till the wheels fall off, baby. And exactly what Dara says. Uber CEO says business is absolutely sustainable because he's going to ride it till the wheels fall off too, especially if I was getting $46 million a year. Woo! After losing $5 billion in three months. and three months... They lost $5 billion, but they ain't worried. You know, let's just brush your shoulder off. Um, Uber is blowing through billions of dollars, but CEO Dara Kawasaki, whatever, whatever, is undeterred. In an interview with a CNN correspondent, uh, that, okay, this already aired and everything. <laughs> it says, it involves the company investing heavily in promotions to entice customers to its on-demand ride meal delivering offerings. So he said the model is absolutely sustainable. The business, for example, is still growing 30 plus percent on a global basis, which they are. We already know they're everywhere, guys. They're everywhere. Everybody knows about Uber, okay? Everybody's always heard it. Hey, Dustin, does it matter if you are a certain tier for Uber? Nope, it does not. I mean, Uber Pro, I guess, depending on if you're in New York City, things might matter a little bit. But other than that, nah. Why are you hating on me over there, Gary? Dang. I smell, you smell that, guys? I smell jealousy. <laughs> uh, Uber lost $5.2 in three months, ending in June, its largest quarterly loss ever. Stock-based compensation related to its initial public offering accounted for $3.9 billion, but the remaining $1.3 billion in losses we're still 50% higher than the year before. Dang. Uber's losing money hand over fist, but nobody seems to be worried there. That's just the crazy thing. That's what's crazy. Uber stock has fallen roughly 30% since going public. It raised $8.1 billion in one of the largest public offerings ever. Ever. 35 cents a mile. That's what Lyft, Gary. Dang, get your facts right, bro. Now... I'm not going to read this whole damn thing here because I just don't feel like it. If you guys want to, you know, read some of them on it, you can. But what I want to know is, you know, we're just going to go ahead and play this. I'm going to play the little thing they had because this is what got me like, damn, really? Did he really just say that? Let's see. If, see if I can get it to play. I'm not a business person or an entrepreneur. I'm not even really a business reporter. But I do understand the bottom line and how you have to have a profit. It looks like... You have to subsidize Is it go? a lot no. of Uber activities. In listen order to, to this, listen to this. Let it happen. You're not turning a profit. <coughs> and your recent IPO, which started very high, somewhere around 120, went down to half that value. Half. How sustainable is the model? We think the, the model is absolutely sustainable. Now, we're in the early stages of building this model. Uh, the business, for example, is still growing 30 plus percent on a global basis. And really, Dara? you have a business that has the kind of market size of trillions of dollars in terms of transportation and food and local commerce, uh, it makes sense for a company to invest. The goal for us to go public was to raise significant capital, and now we have all the capital we need to go from a period of investment to a period of profitability. But that's absolutely going to take We have time. all the capital we need to go... <laughs> They have all this capital that they've raised, right? So why is it why is it taking AB5 and stuff like that to make them start paying drivers more? 
That's what I would like to know. That's what I would like to know. They should take all his money away and have him drive for a few weeks. Exactly, Payne. They should make it so he has to drive like for a month straight so he can get his $46 million. <laughs> but that just blew my mind, guys. The simple fact of they've been raising money left and right, also losing money left and right, but we know why they're losing a lot of money. They're losing tons of money for trying to lobby against things that if they would have just paid drivers more, they wouldn't be worried about it all the time. Now, they're also losing money in the damn autonomous vehicle department. All this crap they keep putting into that because that's going to be the future. That's going to be everything else. Sure, maybe one day will be the future, but it sure as hell ain't going to be tomorrow or probably 10 to 20 years. That's all I'm saying. They're blowing all this extra money when if they, they screw up too much, Uber might not be Uber anymore, guys. It might get bought out by another company. That's my honest take on that because no matter what, ride share is never going to go away. Uber and Lyft will always be there or at least ride share itself will always be there. It just may not be called Uber and Lyft. But that's why I tell drivers all the time, you better get some backups to backup, guys, because this technically could all end tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? We all like to make more money and everything else, but Get it while the money's still out there, guys. Get it while it's still good. And obviously, if you're in Lyft or something doing that 35 cents, eh, that, that's not cool. But having backup plans is the best thing you could possibly do out there to ensure that you're not going to end up screwed. Because there is money. There you go. That, I, there, we can agree on that, Gary. There is money out there, guys, to be made in many different ways. Okay? That's why if you have... A trade, that's your best bet, guys. That is always your best bet if you have some kind of trade. But if they raise the passenger prices across the board and increase driver pay, people will still pay still better than a passenger. That's right, JBP. They've already proved that fact. In New York City, they raised the rates for passengers so that they could pay the drivers more money. And guess what? It worked. Passengers still taking trips. Drivers are making a little bit more money. Okay, but now, of course... New York City also has <laughs> the scheduled shifts, which, you know, nobody wants any of that. And AB5, nobody really knows what's in AB5. So I'm not too, I'm not, uh, I'm not sold on it. But thankfully, it's not in my market. I ain't got to worry about it yet. We're going to see whatever happens in California with AB5 to see how it could potentially affect the rest of us out in the U.S. But we don't know for sure what's going to go down. All we do know is change is a coming. And he's, and with them losing this money all the time like that, it's, it's just not a... It doesn't look good. I don't get how they can take the high percentage and everything else and yet still say the claim that they're raising rates. Um, I like to drive. What are you talking about, Gary? I can't wait to switch my market. This market makes double what I made in the other one. So, yeah, I can't wait to actually get out there and uh, make me a little bit of extra money on the side and hopefully get some extra content as well. So, nah, it ain't about, it's about what you need. Yes, I'm still giving away the dash cams, man. I am still taking, giving away some dash cams at the end of this month. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing that. What are you talking about, Gary? You probably don't even drive. You don't know what you're talking about, bro. It's okay, though. Oh, we still have love for my trolls. What's going on, Tony? Let's hope in California that gets it locked up in litigation for a long time. I'm sure it probably will. I'm sure it probably will. You tell people to get on, but I would like you to take it a step further. Yeah, we just never know. We never know what's going to do it. We never know. Yeah, you don't even drive, Gary, so you ain't got no stake in any of this. Meaning do a video installation on how to use them. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing that too, man. I'm thinking about doing that as well. And he's sitting here like AB5 this and that. You don't, you're not even a driver. <laughs> oh, that's even funnier. That's even funnier. So if they became employees and everything, you don't even care because that ain't your thing. <laughs> oh, that's just great. I thought you were at least a driver at one point. That's funny. 
Uber, Lyft are using us drivers so they can expand globally. Yep, that is true, Eddie. That is true. Dara does need a Smakovich. I will definitely agree with that. I lose money like Uber also. Yeah, a lot of drivers, uh, if they're out there, if you can't make this work and you're actually lo losing money, then you shouldn't do it. That's the bottom line. Not every market can do it. He never took a single ride. The way you act like your opinion matters. <laughs> oh, man, that is awesome. And Gary, you can be my Sunday night Smagovich. <laughs> you get the Smagovich. Act like your opinion matters and stuff. <laughs> oh, but that was great. I needed that, though. I needed that. AB5 is greedy, leading the ignorant. That is true. I will definitely say that. I will definitely say that. AB5. Only thing I'm liking about AB5 is it might, if Uber's spending enough money to lobby against it, then maybe that's what it'll take for Uber to wisen up. So that's the one good thing I could definitely, hopefully take away from all of it is, <coughs> he's sitting at the, <laughs> hopefully taking away from AB5 is it forces Uber and Lyft's hand to maybe treat drivers better in other markets or worry about this same thing happening in other states. That's the only thing I hope really comes out of AB5. But from everything else, if scheduled shifts come in there, I know a lot of drivers are going to quit on that. That's hands down easy. As soon as you lose your freedom and flexibility to drive exactly when you want at any time without it being a busy demand, then the gig is no longer sustainable. You might as well go get something else. <coughs> Saying the government, well, we all know the government don't care about us, Tony. We all know that. <laughs> we we can all totally agree in here. Better thumbs up, everybody. The government does not care about us. They care about their bottom line. That is just how America works. So <laughs> we can't uh, never take away from that. We can all agree with that. We can all agree with that. And yes, obviously, California and uh, New York, they're like their whole other little worlds when it comes to ride share. That's just hands down how it is. That was, so, but no matter what, what happens in those two states, it, it, it doesn't mean it can't happen in other states, okay? But, yep, the government wants their money. If you're making money, you better be paying those taxes. That's it. That's it. Jobs will be like this. We need to have these laws now to set a standard. I mean, that could be true. That could be true. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't really get into politics too much. All I do know is, as I was like, damn, to hear Dara say that we raised enough capital, but it's okay, you raised enough capital, and your next words that come out of your mouth should be, we could pay drivers more, we could do more improvements to drive, you know, safety, something. Not just freaking talk about expanding globally. It's like, whoa, man. Do you think Lyft is going to roll out the improvements to more cities? Yes, I do. There is no reason why Lyft would not be. So, yeah, sadly, I hate to say it, those 35 cent uh, a mile lift rates probably going to be spreading. And I'm shocked, though, that Uber has not followed suit, but maybe they're just a little bit smarter on that because, you know, they raised their money. They raised their capital. They're good. They're good. <laughs> what flexibility. They pretty much force us to drive long hours, chase after low quest bonuses and drive in areas that pay extra. That's true. And that's uh, that's why I don't I don't I don't let the app control me. I never let the app control. I go where I'm going to go, where I want to go. And if I get a ping, then I'll go that way. You know, I'll, I'll accept the ping or whatever. But I'll never, never let the apps control me where I'm going. Like you're heading into a busy area or go this way for it. Hell no. I go where I want to go. Or at least in my other market. Here, I'm going to have to wing it and start back over from scratch. <coughs> yep, and they're a tech company and drivers are not the heart of the company. Sad but true, JVP. We mean diddly squat. And that's why I tell people, if you're going to drive, get your money now. Have backup plans. Use this only for extra money. All right? Because you can make some good extra money. Just don't plan on supporting your family off this. That's, what, that's my best advice to anybody out there. Some people can make it work, obviously. But most of them are the ones that started, you know, a couple years ago. And they already know what the hell's going down. So even when they've dropped rates, we've adapted. You either adapt or you you die. I mean, that, that's it. You've got two things that happen there. 
Yeah, four years ago. Yeah, it was it was crazy four years ago. <laughs> I'm hoping within uh, sometime this month in October I should be. And I'm hoping to also get my... Uh, when I get new plates, I'm going to make it say Smackovich on it. So, I, I, I'm, I'm excited about that. <laughs> but alright guys, I just wanted to bring this to everyone real quick. I got to get the kids ready for bed. It's insane. They've reached this much money. Will drivers see any improvements? If you think yes or no, whatever, let me know in the comments below, guys. We all I always want to hear what you guys say, and I try to reply to everybody the best I can. But all right, guys, as always, check the description below for extra information and tips. You keep doing your thing. You stay safe out there. Get your money while you can, because it might not be there forever. You're never guaranteed another day. You can only have seven characters on a license plate. Yep. S M K and then a big O and then V C H. So it'll still say smack a bitch. <laughs> but all right, guys, you all have a great night. Stay safe out there. End the night on a high note. Start the week off on a on the right foot, guys. I wish you all the best. Thank you all for joining me. You're all great. And when's the next call in? You know what? Maybe we'll do call ins tomorrow or, or something or the next day. I'll do some more call ins soon. Well, maybe we'll take a poll on it. I know people. some people were getting mad at my polls. We'll, we'll, we'll do some polls on it. See if people want to do more call-ins. Yeah, call-in Mondays. There you go. That'd be kind of... Make a little series out of that. But all right, guys. You guys stay safe. Do your thing. Get your money. And remember, get those backup plans ready. And, uh, yeah. Till next time, guys. Uber on or don't. <laughs> Peace out.